Smoke a purse so sweet with Hot Thoughts TV. Y'all know what the fuck we doing, man. It's Hot Thoughts TV. Niggas hot in the beach, man. I'm smoking a purse so sweet with Hot Thoughts TV. So what's going down? Lose it, bro. They ain't talking about me. You didn't forget shit, boy. What's going down, my nigga? I've been having a hell of a week, man. Talk Kro about it. Kroger's is a legendary spot, you know what I'm saying? And in history, you know what I'm saying? Because some real shit happened for a fake nigga. You know what I'm saying? And when I say some real shit happened for a fake nigga, that means that he got to walk away with his life, you feel what I'm saying? Because everybody not saying that shit, he could have been a nigga that we could have been both on the news. Mugshot. Nigga on the pavement, you know what I'm saying? But he'll never be in a situation where he'll say that, damn, I appreciate the nigga. You, you want me to say I appreciate you? Nigga, tell me you appreciate me. Yeah. See, I'll let you go home. Do you feel like at all you play a part in him pulling up on you and causing a situation? The only part I played that was on his page, bro. If I was never on his page, I would have never been in that shit. So, by me being on his page and being on his motherfucking video, they gave him access to me and thought he could play with me because I shouldn't have been on his page. That's what the plot I paid in it, by being on his page. So, um, aside from that, you know, we had Milk said before come on the channel. Man, yeah. fuck Milk Gay ass. Milk Gay ain't he scary, bro. These bitch ass wanna call somebody a Gilligan, bro. You some pussy ass Gilligan, then, nigga. Because your bitch ass, soon how can a nigga make you run off a video? I'm just saying, nigga, come on video right now. And you take off running. And then you text back, you, if you let my ops on here again, I'm not gonna fuck with you. Bro, you was talking about. You was talking about C-Mac going hard on C-Mac. Yeah, that nigga broke. They fucked over him, bro. He used to collect trains at the gas station. But soon a nigga that's skinnier than you come show up. OG Slim is a skinny nigga, bro. See, bro, down soft niggas, we different. If I was showing a skinny nigga like that, he'd probably be the bad motherfucking player. Big niggas like that see skinny niggas like him in the state of Texas, we laugh. So, no disrespect to all these slim, whatever your name is, bro. I'm just saying, your size. Y'all both the same size. Milk, you ran, bro. I know some white niggas in the pen and would have, like, been like, okay. Like, what's up? Like, they would have squabbled. That nigga Milk is a hoe. That nigga disappeared. Everybody in LA. It seemed like anybody can get put on, bro. Because I can't understand how Milk can be dead, you know what I'm saying? And then when it came to his opposition, this is opposition. This is his opposition. <coughs> Neighborhood versus who? Pete. Do you feel like, uh, well, of course, they got different politics there than us. So, <laughs> how do you feel like so comfortable speaking on, you know, California politics? Because they came on our live. If they never came on our live, I wouldn't say shit. I'm not comfortable speaking about nothing. I'm speaking about milk and. That nigga, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what's going on in Cali. To be honest, I don't fuck with nobody in Cali, bro. I don't fuck with that politics shit. And I'm mean, when I say don't fuck with nobody. If you're a civilian, we cool. Gang politics, fuck all that. I almost want to even deal with that. I'm dealing with civilian shit when it comes out of LA. Or if I ever be in California, that's why I'm not tapping in with nobody. And cause when you come, when you chilling with civilian shit, it come with more privileges than that fake ass gang shit. That fact that gang shit is nothing but some two back, backstabbing, conniving ass, weak ass niggas that surround niggas, bro. So like even with the came down to the cowboy situation, you feel me? A lot of niggas mad about what he did, but at the same time too, I feel like everybody got an excuse. I feel like cowboy did what was real for him. But then you got the back end of it too. It's like we just hope that he didn't insert himself in some shit that he didn't have to be in. It was some shit that he had no choice. That's cool. I'm not like they, they said one nigga got cited five hundred thousand because he didn't want to go. He didn't want to testify in court, bro. 
when you if you got smart and you got dumb. Dumb to the beats, bro. Do people see that this street couple shit is really dumb shit? Do people even what's going on between me and motherfucking lock on this shit dumb? It ain't no money. It's a whole bunch of chaos and negativity, bro. That's the only things in the street, chaos and negativity. But when a nigga took the stand to do the right thing and tell the truth, you got niggas that saying that he's wrong, nigga. Nigga, to me, Cowboy is the only nigga that showed that he really loved Nip, bro. Because when you love somebody, bro, you gonna do something that you usually won't do, bro, for that person. So, nigga, no, any other day he wouldn't talk to the law. But when it came down to his partner, a nigga that was feeding him, a nigga that was fucking with him, a nigga that he raised, he did the right thing. And the, and the right people, people that does the right thing, guys, he went and he told what happened. Nigga, that nigga shitty cuz, or just like you had the other nigga, I ain't trying to even fucking play with no nigga online, bro. You a gangster, you a gangster. Well, I but I'm just speaking, giving my opinion. Like the other nigga that's going against Cowboy, bro. You didn't love him, bro. You was a fan. You was his homeboy, like, because he was a rapper. You know what I'm saying? Because cause he was a rapper, that's why his name is all up in that shit, bro. That nigga here no more. He not here. Yeah. He's not here. He got done dirty. Yeah. 